royal palace in Thailand has confirmed that the king's eldest daughter has collapsed with what is described as a heart condition. Princess Pat Charikitiya Pa, who is 44 years old, is being treated in hospital in Bangkok. The palace has said little about her condition. She is widely viewed as the most suitable heir to the throne. The king has yet to name a successor. Well, let's go live to Bangkok, where our Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head is there. Jonathan, what more do we know about the princess and her condition? Well, not much from that statement, but we can assume that her condition is serious. I mean, if, there, if she was recovering or there was any good news, they would have given it. Uh, and the statement itself was said actually nothing at all about her current condition. It talked about the state that she was in after this, what appears to have been a heart attack or a heart failure of some kind, uh, as, as being stable to some extent. I mean, that's, that's not saying a lot, but it certainly isn't good news. Um, she was evacuated from a local hospital by helicopter down to Bangkok where she is being treated. And frankly, it's impossible to know, you know, what state she's in. There are rumours that she may not even be alive, but it, we, we won't know that. And the palace will handle um, all stages of information from now on. Uh, but it is a very serious problem for the palace because she's a very important member of King Wachira Longhorn's inner circle. She's his eldest daughter. Um, she's by far the most accomplished of the royal family. Um, she's a, a qualified lawyer. She's been an ambassador for Thailand. Um, for all those reasons, that's why she is talked about as, as a plausible heir, because all the other potential heirs just don't have those qualities. Uh, and people have been expecting that she was probably going to be groomed to succeed King Wajira Longhorn, who's already 70 years old at some point. Um, obviously, much now depends on the outcome of whatever state of health she's in. Yeah, and the king, as we were saying, has not formally designated an heir, um, and possibly the princess may be that. Why, why is that? It's always the prerogative of every Thai king to name an heir. I mean, theoretically, Thailand fo follows sort of uh, male primogeniture that, you know, the eldest male um, will succeed. And that's indeed what happened when King Wajra Long's, Longhorn's father, Bumipon, died. He succeeded. He'd already been named as the heir. and It was made very clear he would be the heir. Um, King Wajra Longhorn, we don't know why he hasn't chosen an heir. I think he's in some difficulties. He's had quite a lot of children. Um, but for various reasons, uh, they're not all suitable. Four of the sons he had with his second wife uh, are estranged from their father and, and more or less exiled in the United States. That seems an impossible path to go. He has a younger son, Dipangon, who's 17 years old, but he appears to have some quite severe developmental challenges, which make many people think he probably couldn't do the job, at least not with any ease. And then he's got a, another daughter, a Princess Sri Banavari, um, but again, not somebody of the calibre of Princess Pa, the Princess uh, uh, Kitiaba, who's in, in hospital now. So the, 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 the choices of heirs are not that promising. Um, the king at hit this age is unlikely to have a, another child. And that does raise real questions about the future of, of, of this dynasty. Um, you know, it's, it's a troubled monarchy in lots of ways. The, as people will know, there's been lots of gossip about it. There, will be, there were protests uh, demanding reforms of the monarchy here in Bangkok two years ago. Uh, I think for those who believe in the Thai monarchy, um, losing a potentially plausible and possibly successful heir would be seen as a very serious blow. OK, Jonathan Head in Bangkok. Thank you.